Hello guys, today we are going to learn how to pass data between activities using intent and bundles. Alright, so this is how it works. So now this is one music player application that I have here. And as soon as you click on one uh, music file, it opens in a new window and it shows different details about the music file. So what happens here is when you click on this item here in this activity it opens another activity and where you can see all the details about this song and this is done using intents and you pass the data around using bundles so basically you can start another activity using an intent and this is the simplest code that you can write to start a new activity so you write intent intent equals to new intent application context and the second activity and the start that activity. Now bundles are generally used to pass data between activities. Let's say you have first activity and on the second activity you want to you want to pass something. You want to pass some variable, some data to the other activity. In that case you should use bundles. And what what are bundles? They are a mapping of string values to different parsable types. Okay, so you can pass the data with an intent like this. So the previous line again, intent intent equals to new intent, get application context and second activity. And here you can put one extra. So this is the key and this is the value that you are going to pass here. And this value can be fetched by this key. On the second activity, we will create our bundle. We will fetch the extras from the intent. And after that, we can fetch the string using the key. When you start a new activity from a previous one, the previous activity goes in the background. However, it doesn't get destroyed. So when you open a new activity, it comes on top of the activity stack. However, the previous activity is not destroyed. It goes in the stopped mode after calling the on pause and on stop methods. If you remember the methods correctly in the previous tutorials, you will find it useful that these two methods gets called when an activity goes in the background. Now let's see this in code. So I'm going to create a new Android project and I will name it passing data around. We will leave the other things as it is. Click next. Next, creating a blank activity. The first activity would be main activity and clicking on the finish. Alright, so our project is loaded and this is our layout. So we will remove the hello world from here and we will put one edit text. And this will be our edit text in the center. Make it full screen, uh, full width. And we will put one button here also. So a small button. Let's assign some IDs to these buttons and edit text. BTN pass. And for this edit text, we will write ET data. And this edit text has one more property. It is called hint. And the hint would be enter data. So what will happen when I will click on this pass button, then the text from this edit text will be fetched and will be passed to the second activity. So let's go to the main activity, remove the on create options menu because we don't need it and let's write edit text edit text casting find view by id r dot id dot ed data and let's write our button here button btn pass equals to button 
find u by id r dot id dot vpn pass and we will set one on click listener on this button new on click listener now as soon as I click on this button I will create one intent but before creating that intent I have to create another activity so first let's create the second activity create new activity and a blank activity and we will name it second activity pressing enter after that here we have this hello world again for the second activity.xml file let's leave it hello world for now instead we will put one id here id at text view receive data now open this activity second activity and write text view text view find view by id r dot id dot to receive data so now let's go back to our main activity and in case you are wondering where they are here's our main activity and second activity so let's open main activity and now here we will write our intent so intent intent equals to new intent get application context second activity dot plus and in this intent we will put one extra under the key data now your key could be anything it could be any string that you like now what will be our data our data is the text present in this edit text so we will write et data dot get text dot to string and lastly we will start the activity so start activity okay too many videos activity and pass the intent variable here now on the second screen we will receive the intent we will receive the data in the intent extras so we will get one bundle here we will write get intent dot get extras now from this extra we can get the data equals to bundle dot get string now you have to remember correctly that what data what type of data you have passed from the previous screen so we know that from the previous screen we have passed one string so now here we will receive the string and the key is this data if you pass something else then you will not receive the data instead you will receive null now we have received the data lastly we will write tv receive data dot set text and we will put the data here now let's run our project and see how does it work alright so here is our application and it says enter data pass data so we will enter something here like and let's pass the data and you see on the second activity we have received him hey and howdy and if I go back you see the previous activity is there okay so now one more thing what will happen if you don't pass the data and on the second screen you try to get the data in that scenario you will receive a null pointer exception how it will work you don't pass the data right so get intent or get extras will get you null 
and from the null if you put if you try to get a string it will be a null pointer exception because you cannot get anything out of the null so it's better to check for a null uh, a null condition before fetching the data or before setting the data right so we will do if bundle is not null then only we will fetch the string and then only we will set the data otherwise we will not now let's try to pass a different type of data this time instead of a string so now what we will do from the activity main where we have this edit text uh, we will put another edit text let me copy this one and we will name it ETH and we have to put it here and we have to put the button here okay so we will enter the data we will enter the age also and this type of edit text would only take numbers so it will not take a strings because it is age it should be a number and for that what we have to do we have to change uh, the type of this edit text so we will go back to the edit text this is our edit text and we will change the input type to number and now it will only take number it will not take string values so now let's go back to our main activity and let's make another edit text and this one would be ETH ETH and intent dot put extra age however still what you will receive will be a string instead uh, you are passing a number here but you will receive the number as a string value so you have to first convert it into an integer so we will write int age equals to ed age dot get text dot to string and after that we will change to string integer dot parts int so now our age is integer and now we will pass this thing here so we are passing two variables, two values here. One is data and the other one is age. And on the second activity, we can fetch the same data again. Int age equals to bundle dot get, but this time we will be fetching int. And now you see that get int has two methods. One is with the key and the other one with a default value. Now let's see what is this default, uh, default value. So key would be age and default value is 0. So if we don't know how old are you, then we will put a 0 there. So that is the default value if we don't get the age. So now you have received the data and we will put the age here is age. So now let's try to run this program and see if we are able to fetch both the values. We have received one string type and one integer type. So let's run it. Alright, so here we go. We have the data. Let's write my name here and age. Alright, so here we receive the data and the age is 28 and we have we got the data correctly. So that's it for intent and bundles.